Zirama International Children's Day in the DPRK. It's actually um, roller coasters and sort of merry-go-rounds and all sorts of stuff and bumper cars. But none of it seems to be open today. from Pyongyang. Yesterday was unbelievable. Picked up a few souvenirs that I'm going to do some reviews on. Some soju. It's like a local spirit here. Different strengths, different flavours. And also some cigarettes for some um, some gifts and stuff. Pretty cool gift. But yeah, this is our room. I'm not going to go show you too much because it's an absolute state at the moment. Got everything everywhere. Just packing up to go out for another day. Um, yeah, that's my little bed there. Got separate beds. And then that's our view. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. The, work, the windows are a bit dirty, but um, we're on the floor 25. Gonna go out and have another day out in Pyongyang today. Actually, um, roller coasters and sort of merry-go-rounds and all sorts of stuff and bumper cars. But none of it seems to be open today.
One of the places they took us to was a, a co-op farm. Well, it was more of a model of a farm, I think, of what they, they aspired to be. The whole place seemed quite empty, really. They showed us a plan of what they intended to do or what they were doing at the farm, and it was going to be a 24 hour setup. We went into a farmer's house, it was like a setup in the village, and they said it was where a family lived, but I did have my suspicions. It was perfectly set out in there. Yeah, it was all a bit bizarre. Very interesting, but very bizarre. We went into a leisure centre at this point and there just happened to be people playing ping pong and there was a swimming pool, which was empty. We had to leave our shoes at the door and put these little slippers on. And, and then we came outside of the building and they were selling vegetables. We had a table probably about this big and they had like a singular carrot, an onion, a tomato, uh, some water that you could buy. So yeah, it's a little bit strange there. So there was a shop on site. We got to go in there and have a look around. Lots of food, electrical goods, children's clothes, toys. All looked very plentiful and it was almost to me, it looked like it was a display of, yeah, we've got it all, we're okay. So I'm just at the leisure centre in the DPRK. I'm just going to get a ball. Now, I know what you're thinking, I have had a slight change since earlier on in the video, but I wasn't arrested down at the leisure centre for spectating with a beer. This was 100% my own choice and nothing to do with the North Korean government. So we went to a microbrewery to sample some of the local craft beer. The beer is called Taedonggang and it's highly praised by the North Koreans. Trousers checking in. Trousers checking in. I'm just doing a full repack. Just about to head, <laughs> just about to head out into the countryside. Look at the state of that. Oh man. Ah.